Here's a quick overview of the AutoNeak app. I've used this app for several years um, as a dealer and uh, that's what I use to scan VINs on vehicles I'm buying at auction or um, also trading appraisals here at the store and then I use the um, desktop version for online sales when I'm working those. When you open the app up it's got just your, your general VIN scanner which is like a lot of the other um, uh, ones that are available. Uh, you got your price evaluator next to it where you can manually enter the VIN also drill down from year, make, model, trim package, you know, then it'll open up from there. Just kind of show you what that looks like. And it gets really, and then this is like, say, if you don't have the VIN available because, uh, you know, it would drill down a lot faster. You don't have to do all that if you have the VIN. So I'll give you this, this page here. I've got mine set up for Black Book and NADA. Those are the two subscriptions I have. Um, as well as access to my to my uh, Carfax, but uh, at the top here it gives you general information that you've searched. Um, you can take a photo of the vehicle if you want that as a resource. Enter the mileage, which you know you, you obviously want to do because that's going to make an adjustment here in your pricing guide. There's lots of other uh, things you can enter there. Add notes if you want to. Then it has an add to list. You got ABC and a lock feature. The lock feature is basically where you can mark that you've purchased that vehicle. Um, so you'll have record of that. The list are three different lists if you want to add particular vehicles. You know, maybe you want a truck list or an SUV list, or maybe you just want to strictly just a buy list. Um, and then there's also a feature on here that's not popped up on this one, but you actually can, can have a do not buy list. There's a marker for that. Uh, the orange tag there says one similar vehicle at one auction. Um, you can open that up. It'll take you where this vehicle is currently listed in an auction where you can look at it there. And like on Black Book and NADA, you can uh, you get all your, your typical figures here. You can push the wholesale link there. It'll change to retail prices. Push it again, it goes to trade-in, and then back to wholesale. Same thing with NADA. I've got mine starting on retail. Goes to trade-in, and then goes to auction. So that'll give you those figures there. You can open up the show options tab. It'll um, you know, show as far as ads and things like that. Make sure you, you know, you are looking at the right car. Maybe yours has got something extra that the VIN didn't pick up. Um, find vehicles. You can search particular vehicles, uh, gear make, uh, mileage, and it'll pop, it'll populate those below, um, showing where those are listed, uh, at any particular auction. So you can look at them that way. The find auctions, um, pretty pretty standard feature this is one that you can search an online auction a physical auction um, you know maybe maybe you're out of town and you want to be sure there's not an auction in the area that you can work this will give you those uh, those auction uh, information my vehicle so this gets into where you uh, the vehicles you've evaluated vehicles you've ran history reports on uh, lane and run specified and then these lists that I'm telling you about it'll go in and you can um, actually look at these by the list. So I usually go back when I'm working a physical auction and look at these uh, after I get through looking through all the cars and then and then drill down and do a little more research on each vehicle before the auction starts. Uh, my account, and then these recently evaluated, this will just show you in order um, the ones that you've recently evaluated, like your most recent, and then you can go back in and open those up. Um, and there again, it'll give you all this and see it. Well, of course, on this one, it's showing where my Carfax. So I've got my Carfax account attached to this. So this is normally how it looks. It just gives you the summary, and then you can open it up to the full Carfax report if need be. Uh, they've added a feature now where you can actually get a little printer uh, icon here in the top right of the screen where you can actually print these out now. That's a, That was in the last update. Um, but that's pretty well AutoNeak in a nutshell. Um, like I said, I've used it for several years, been pretty happy with it, and uh, they continually update it. And so if you're thinking about using this, you might demo it.